On animal specimens, here's something new. Behold! What the heck are you? Let's take a closer look. We have two sets of wings. A main body. But up here is where all the weird stuff is going on. Let's go even closer. <gasps> Bah. You see that little orange bump at the bottom? That's its eye. Which makes everything above the eye just like a, a really long nose covered in spikes. Why would this insect have a giant spiky nose? That, my friends, is the mystery. Ooh. A mystery. Because here's the thing, there are many more similar insects with giant noses that look a little bit different. Second behold. One, two, three. Roll call. Here we have our first one, simple in design. It's just a very long rostrum or nose that's covered in tiny little spikes. Why would something have this? Maybe to defend it itself against predators, possibly a defense mechanism. The second one is a little bit more interesting. The top is absolutely enormous, kind of more ballooned out than the other one, and it looks especially interesting from the side. Ugh, I don't know if this is true, but people think that this little spot right here it looks like a false eye that could potentially scare away predators, so maybe another defense mechanism? I really don't know if anyone's seen its head function like that, but I do know that they've seen this insect slam that giant head against a tree to try and attract a mate. And here's the last one with a giant nose that just has a red tip. A few places say that they stick this into into a tree to try to retrieve sap out of the bark, but I like to think of it as the holiday edition. So if we're trying to answer the question, what is the purpose of these giant noses? Well, based off this guy right here, it's probably a defense mechanism. Based off this guy right here, maybe it's like a mating call, and based off this guy, well, maybe it's just like, I don't know, a festive ornament. So what do you think? Maybe there's another function that they all have in common that we just haven't figured out yet, or perhaps maybe they're all just used for different things. Either way, it's an interesting characteristic of an interesting group of animals. Fulgrid plant hoppers. Ooh. Hmm.